so you guys will understand. Okay. So what we want to do is show how to solve our equation when y equals one half cosine of um, two x over three. Now, um, one thing we want to remember, we're just going to try to find the amplitude in the period. Remember the amplitude, if I look at now, I did a paragraph for sine. All you need to do is replace your sine with cosine. It's the exact same graph function. We need to understand what our transformations are. We have A, B, C, and D. They're just like when we did with quadratics. If you guys remember the quadratics, I'll just write it up here because this might bring back some memories to you. Right? You guys remember doing that? Where H told you to go left and right, K did up and down, A told you to reflect, and also if it stretches or compresses, right? Yep. It's the same thing. Okay? It's the exact same thing, it's just a different function. So now we're dealing with the sine function, where A is now going to tell us, instead of like stretching and compressing, which it actually kind of is, um, what you're going to notice though is that's just going to, it's just we say it a different way. We just say it's going to determine the height of our sine waves from the x-axis. So to find the amplitude, you just need to take the absolute value of your A. All right, and when we get to when we get to graphing, you guys will notice how it is. So I look at this and I say, all right, what is the number that's in front of my function? And I look, and it doesn't matter if it's sine or cosine. You look and say, oh, one half's in front of there. So the absolute value of one half equals one half. Right? Yeah. Done. If it was negative, it still would have been a positive one half. Right? Easy. Got it? Yes. So then the next one is going to be working on period. Now. Period can get a little difficult if we're not set up with our um, algebra skills because we need to remember a couple things. The period is 2 pi over b. So b is our number that's in front over the x. And ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you pay attention with this um, because this is going to get a lot of students tricked up. Um, 10 divided by 4. 10 divided by 2 is equal to what? Five. Now, you could also say, what if I wrote 1 half times 10? That is also equal to 5, right? So the one thing I want to make sure you guys understand is, I can rewrite 10 over 2 is the equivalent of saying 1 half times 10. Okay? But it's not like in a triangle why you can write BH by 2 instead of half BH. Right, yes, very simple. <laughs> so then what I'm trying to get to this is this point is 2x divided by 3. I can rewrite this, Miranda, as instead of saying multiply by 2 and then divide by 3, you can do, write this as 2 thirds x. Okay? So you guys need to understand that. 2x over 3 is the same thing as 2 thirds x. All right? So now why, the reason why that helps me out is because here a lot of students will say, oh, what's my b? Um, your b is 2. Well, no, that 2 is divided by 3, right? So your b is actually going to be 2 thirds. 2 pi divided by 2 thirds. Then, if you guys are not already sick about rationalizing um, the denominators and multiplying by the reciprocals, you notice again we have another fraction divided by another fraction. So again, we need to make sure we multiply by the reciprocal. That cancels out to 1. Multiply by the reciprocal. So therefore I have 2 pi times 3 halves over 1. The 2's will cancel out and I'm left with 3 pi. That means now, rather than going out all the way out to, uh, to 2 pi for it to complete a cycle, my now my graph is going to go out to 3 pi to complete a cycle. 
Okay? Any questions on that? Yes. Is that a question on this or just a new one? It's like in general. Okay. When, are the graphs always the same points? Like the parent graphs are always the same points? The parent graphs are always the same points, but what we're going to learn on how to graph them, we're going to learn how to like transform what the new points are depending on the translation. So we'll talk about that when we get to graphing. Now you guys want me to do number 14 just for fun? Actually, I'll, I won't do 